Hey, what's up fellow modelers? Uh, here we have a quick review of the 124 scale FD3S RX-7 from Initial D. Uh, this is a kit made by Fujimi. Uh, this is my first Fujimi kit that I've ever had. I plan to actually get a few more because I'm pretty impressed. Um, I heard a couple people say that there were some fit issues with this, but dry fitting some of the parts, um, I haven't really seen that so far anyways uh the box isn't really anything special it's got some cool art on it um very like manga inspired this is the project d version of this car um if you're familiar with initial d you know what that means if not uh later on in the later stages they form a uh, project d and most of the cars get upgraded a little bit. I do plan to get the original version of this car, the one with the flip-up headlights, and there's a different wing and a different body kit, and possibly different wheels. I don't remember. But uh, the box really isn't anything special. It gives you a, a look at um, the decal sheet, a uh, color call-out, a picture of uh, Case K. Takahashi, who is the owner of this particular car, one of the Takahashi brothers. Um, they're from a racing club called the Akagi Red Suns. Open the box up real quick. Um, instruction sheet, which I can't read, as usual. Uh, the thing I found interesting is there is quite a bit of English translation in the, the kit. Um, I'm just going to pause the video and take a minute and take a few parts out of the bags. The bags aren't heat sealed, they're actually just stapled. So I'm just going to pull a few parts out um, in particular that I want to talk about and the rest is pretty much self-explanatory. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, and we are back. Um, I just took a few parts out. Uh, the body... The body is very cool. The detail is very good. Um, there are a couple of things that I see that I do want to do. I think th that uh, part of the fender flare right there is hollow in the back. So I may want to um, try to do that. Fender flares are molded real good. The rivet detail is really good. Um, the whole kit, like I said, I was just really, really, really impressed with how everything looks the the clear parts they have they have good defrost lines molded into them um these parts are really good clear parts for everything which is good because i'm trying to put lights in this kit i want to make the headlights and taillights work um interior looks really good i think i'm gonna get some flocking even though the doors don't open i think i'm just gonna do it for the fun of it uh black parts um one thing I found interesting was on this tree here, one of the yellow trees, uh, there's two yellow seats, and then on this tree there is one black seat. So I believe that this tree is just from the original version of the car, and they just didn't take that part out of the tree, so I have an extra seat there. Um, I don't know, there may be actually other parts there that you can... Uh, make the original version. I'm not sure. Um, I don't I don't think so because I only see one set of bumpers and side skirts and I believe they were all different. Um, it was pretty cool because I could dry fit the body onto this and see how it fit and it actually fits really really good. So I'm pretty I'm pretty excited to put this kit together. Uh, let's do a runner count. How many runners do we have? We have the body, um, two clear part runners, uh, that black runner, the undercarriage and the chassis, and another black runner, and another black runner, so that's three black runners, and the chassis, which I guess is a fourth black runner, two yellow runners, and then the runner with the wheels and tires on it, which one of the things I am most impressed with. These are, as you can see, 124 scale copies of the Advan RG, uh, pre-colored pretty well, I might add. But the thing that gets me is the tires, and I don't think the camera's going to pick this up, but those tires say, oh no, it's not going to, 
Oh yeah, well, it says Bridgestone RE71 235-45 VR17. That's amazing to me. Uh, the mold line was very, very cleverly disguised in the rain channel. Um, I'm really, really impressed with these. I'm that's I'm hoping that the other Fujimi kits have copies of the wheels that were on the other cars. Um, I'm about to order uh, one or two more kits, and I also have another kit on the shelf behind me, which I'm going to do later. But I'm really, really excited to do this kit. Uh, I'm waiting for some LEDs and stuff to come in so I can... I'm also working on my big spring contest entry, which is Metal Gear Rex. He's in shambles all over. But yeah, that's the the kit is the kit is really really good. Um, oh, I forgot a runner. Actually, I'm sorry. Uh, you get a chrome runner with the muffler and the headlight housings and mirror plates, which I like the mirror plates a lot. I'll probably strip the the uh, electroplating, not electroplating. Uh, I forget what it's called. Vacuum metalizing. Um, strip that off of there. I'm gonna leave it on them ones. Probably put some to me a smoke on those. But that should make the lighting of the headlights pretty easy. Uh, I think I'm gonna use a tester's metalizer on the muffler. So that's another runner, and then we have the decal sheet, which includes an awful lot of stuff. No logos for the car because I think at that point they didn't have logos on their cars. You just have the um, the real nice RX-7 logo and the gauges and all that other stuff. There's even key lock or door lock keyholes to put on. It's just really, it's really, really well done. I'm really, really happy with this kit so far. Um, once I get to actually start putting certain parts of the kit together, I'll get a feel for what the actual fit's like overall. But like I said, so far dry fitting that front bumper on, I was pretty impressed. Um, it looks like it will be a really, really nice kit when it's finished. Uh, the hood does not open, so no um, engine parts to mess with. Which is kind of a bummer, but um, I think I'm just going to get some mesh to put behind those vents. It has a... Oh no, it doesn't have a black hood. For a second I thought that the hood was black. But um Yeah, it should be it should be a pretty fun little kit. So uh that's pretty much it. Uh they get a thumbs up so far from me on first glance anyways. And I'm hoping to pick up more and try them out. Um I love Initial D. I don't know about anybody else or if you're familiar with it, but it is a Japanese anime. Uh, and um, manga about illegal street racing in Japan, downhill Japan, downhill Japan, um, downhill street racing in Japan. And there are a variety of extremely cool cars in it. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for my review on the Fujimi 124 scale FD3S RX7. Uh, catch you guys later.